guys, looking back to the pain train. To your eternity breakdown, episode number 16 of season two. Welcome back to Benuda Bolt. I hope you guys are faring well over this weekend. We only have six episodes left to go. Part of me this week also fought dangerously because halfway through I was like, what? if this is the end what happens if the end is actually wrapped up in six episodes i still don't know how long the manga is because i don't want to spoil myself on this anime so i've not looked he did say that all the knockers had been gathered for this fight could this be the final series question mark would we even get a third series that's going to be the big one but we are now halfway through this season meaning my midway review is coming to you guys thursday can't make any promises guys but i aim to have that midway review with you guys because i want to crown my top three ops eds and current standing of animes can't wait because it's been a very interesting season lots of seesawing going around i've got some ideas of what i'm going to be crowning can't wait to bring it to you and hopefully you guys will agree or mildly disagree with how i rank things i've never really had a problem with the midways the midways are always fun to just get a base feeling on how everybody's feeling halfway through the season it's been a very interesting season we've got six episodes of everything still to go it's gonna be interesting to see how that changes by the end of the season this week fushi is attempting to combat that mental fatigue and that's the thing that's really holding him back right now because he's tired he's still working on human bodies that need rest could you just imagine the size of the nap that he is going to need to even make up for the amount of sleep that he's missed he's going to be asleep for a, a year maybe he is jumping forms that we are seeing that he is starting to learn the strengths of every single person he's able to adapt and be quite creative i could definitely imagine playing this as a game would be fun could you imagine playing a game where you can change forms and you'd have different stats or your stats would change at the same time there's probably games like this but playing a two year eternity version would be amazing i was out there on that battlefield trying to fight the knockers and i had all these forms first in line to try playing that type of game it was a little heartbreaking hearing that Hiro's really rough childhood a reason why he had that perfect strength of allowing fushi to continue without feeling that pain but also that downside of not really knowing when you're injured or not i like the fact that the anime did say here's a downside to it's not all about being OP Fushi. There's a downside to everything. Hyro may be great at being able to ignore pain, but it means you don't know when you're in critical damage. I did think the big reveal came earlier than I was expecting. If you remember my last video, I technically didn't edit any of it. I kept my wrong belief in on purpose, but I did put in the description. Occasionally, I do actually change the notes. Whilst I was editing for you guys, it came to that final tease and I figured out exactly what was going to happen because Bon was approaching the free with her sword in his hand i couldn't imagine initially what was going to happen and obviously i had been sus up to that point and i was like oh he's gonna do something bad and blah 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 then i remembered wait if he does anything with the sword and severs them they're technically alive and then it clicked he was gonna create three eternal soldiers he had no intention of letting fushi use them as forms he was gonna have them as people who could stay with fushi of course that does benefit fushi he's able to fight like crazy and we definitely see a huge bonus to having the three of them on side but it's that moment where i figured that bon had it all down down to a T. He knew exactly what it was he was going to do. The moment that they revive as well is also the moment where he initially loses the boy. My jaw initially dropped when he lost the boy before we added in the addition of having our free returning to life. The boy so far has been a form that he hasn't really lost it's the first time we've seen him lose it it's weird to imagine him losing that form because that's the form i recall fushi as and i know fushi is technically he's an orb but the form i associate with fushi the most is the white-haired boy who we still don't know the name one day he's gonna tell us his name can't wait to learn his name i bet it's gonna be something really weird imagine if it was fushi it's gonna be one of the bigger mysteries for the series we don't know what his name is just yet because we know the wolf's name is johan it was that moment where it all kind of clicked last week midways as well have all three of them on the board and march all of this time is it possible that we the pain train family we've been wrong we all thought that that was a board of all the forms that fushi could take what if it's a board of people who are important to fushi the people who have touched his lives the people he has formed a deep bond with being able to turn into them technically just an additional measure something that he could do afterwards not just central focus but more just additional bonds not technically on the board yet but I do think if Bon was to die, Fushi would gain Bon's form. 
Bon essentially kept his promise. He promised him some eternal warriors, friends, for Fushi, who could now be with him, fill that gap of loneliness. We do find out this week it's definitely a case that you can come back as much as you want and you're alive. To the point where they get so used to it, they're basically ending their turns really, really quickly and respawning somewhere else like it's nothing. That in any other anime would just be shocking. But in this anime, it was just played off like nothing. The truth doesn't fully come out. This is going to be a big stab in my heart for next week. Fushi doesn't actually learn that he can bring people back. He only learns that the people in front of him right now are eternal. Up until this point, Bon has said they are eternal, they are immortal, these are your immortal friends. Fushi is going to think they're different. The one thing about this anime I just hate, permanent sin on this series as a whole for me, the teaser. Why do we need a teaser? Because technically the teaser is what spoiled the big moment for me this week. It could have been a jaw drop moment and I'm sure for many of you, if you did not figure it out, it was jaw drop. Oh my god, they're back. I figured it out last week whilst editing for you guys. I was just waiting for it. I was more just going, okay, these guys are going to come back, but when are they going to come back? Because Fushi kept using their forms and I was like, okay, at some point he's going to come back. Next week as well with March. Why? Why do I need to be depressed? I was literally getting so hopeful and then I see that. Fushi doesn't know the truth. He just believes that these three people are eternal. These are immortals. These are your friends. Do love the fact that he was feeling up messer because he thought he was dreaming. This has never happened to me before. I think I'm dreaming. Maybe I'm falling into one of those comas again where I'm knocked out for a bit. I like that moment. I like that reaction as well. It's a very real reaction like if you suddenly saw somebody who you thought was dead you'd probably be crying you'd be thinking that you've gone crazy or you too had maybe passed over and gone to heaven or something under the assumption that these three people can be brought back these are the three people that i can call back to life again and again it doesn't matter how many times they die just these three people teaser shot this was the teaser shot that ruined it for me a favor for you guys because i know you guys were upset that i kept ragging on bon okay let me approach this teaser shot from your point of view as he's a good guy and i was like what would a good guy do in this situation a good guy would cut them off he would basically make them alive again if he knew that they could come back to life yeah you guys are right bon is probably best boy for bringing these three back but bon is also not best boy because you haven't told the truth yet fushi could bring march back but fushi doesn't think he can so fushi now thinks march is dead again heartbroken <laughs> bon waited a little bit he seemed to use it as a bit of a last resort because he saw fushi getting consumed knockers cleverly lured him out allowed him to take down one of their trebuchets and did that on purpose and then they wanted to capture him and that's when bond decided to act i think it was more a last resort it would be interesting to know if bond would have done that if fushi had been okay and he hadn't actually gotten into any sticky situations this is the moment where we've got to look at that d debate again, the immortality debate that comes up every so often when you're drunk and you're discussing things with your friends. Every single time this ever gets brought up, the problems of immortality is lonely, you see people die, it kind of would suck. Everyone you know is going to die around you. But suddenly that problem has been fixed. If people could be with you, have your friends around forever and ever and ever, that problem is fixed. It's the moment where we see Fushi, what face am I making? I love this. It's like, how, how do I feel right now? What, what's going on? I have friends, there's people with me. Him touching at his chest i think there's a human emotion i think he's feeling something on the inside relief happiness maybe confusion i love this moment because he just doesn't know how to react i think that's the human moment that kahaku is trying to protect and he hasn't seen it sucks to be you kahaku narrator made a brief show this week it's more for me guys it's more for me i'm so happy to see kenjiro suda anywhere he has stated that every single knocker is now gathered for this what if once these are all dead that's the end of the series. This is the end. This could technically be a two season anime. If you do technically read the manga, can someone just not spoil it or anything? Let me know roughly how many seasons you think there would be. Just so I get an idea. I'm happy to be spoiled on roughly how many seasons there are. Just don't spoil the ending or anything. I just, I want to know if I'm going to be saying goodbye to Fushi at the end of six episodes time, or am I going to expect more material? you can cheat the system you have now gained the idea of a respawn games are technically easier when you know that you've got those respawns in your pocket you play in a different manner I played a lot of frostpunk lately and if you know anything about that game it is just so unforgiving you make a mistake there's a point when you know you can't save it and it's game over but imagine if you had respawns on that and you could redo your decisions that would make that game a very different game fushi up until this point has been playing a game where he doesn't have respawns and now he's suddenly got respawns he's just unlocked god mode and now god mode has made things a lot easier all that time i was thinking that march was still out there <laughs> march i'm so sorry i wasn't there for it man 
But all three of them have literally become pieces on a chessboard for Fushi to sit there and allow them to be where he needs. He's able to fight quicker, more lives, and they're all acting at the same time. He's able to sit back, he's able to control them a little bit better, but he still gets those nosebleeds. This moment is also where Fushi still technically doesn't know that any other form could be revived. I understand that you guys say that he's not ready to learn it, but I also, I don't technically see why it would be an issue if he learned that he could bring them back is a little bit on the Bon is trying to protect his own skin at the moment. I see where Kohaku's coming from, but because it's Kohaku saying it, I don't want to be on Kohaku's side, so I'm going to ignore that. It was that moment where I was debating the fact that Fushi right now could bring back other people. And I was like, what happens if we had Gugu running around with him? And I haven't seen Gugu in ages. I can't even remember if Gugu's a form that he's lost. It could be a form that he could use and we could have the boys back together again. I, I miss those two. Those two were great. Let's talk about that brutal scene of the three of them deciding to end things and go and respawn somewhere else because they don't want to walk now i get lazy i get really lazy and i don't want to walk times but geez if this was in any other anime with these guys offing themselves whew, could you just imagine it any other anime this was used but because it's to your eternity because we've been so desensitized by this point the pain train family has sat through an awful lot oh, okay this is a thing now there's even a point when it's all lined up with a fire and i'm so glad we don't technically see it but she looks a little uncomfortable the blood's on his cheek and i'm like oh okay okay this is an uncomfortable moment i i feel a little uncomfortable it is so weird to look at this scene and actually go actually it's kind of tame from what i'm used to with to your eternity because they didn't show it a very weird scene but we need to address the horny elephant in the room that is kohaku i am still on team no trust they probably try to explain it once again there's been an attack where kohaku is i think he's trying to tell them to stay or stay away from something and then the attack happens regardless still not a hundred percent with this and it makes me suspicious and a bit uneasy he then lops off the girl's arm okay this i get this i understand it's the same with killing messer once you're infected that's it it's technically game over so he saves the girl's life by removing her arm okay i get it that's fine the way that he goes about it sometimes there's emotions missing puzzle piece that's missing that makes it really cold that everyone around as well sees him as suspicious i also see him as suspicious maybe kohaku is team human but the knocker in your arm is still a knocker do we really have any reason to trust it sure it says it's scared or something it could be playing you i just don't trust him and what also sealed my suspicions a little bit further was he starts to shift the blame onto Bon. To me, that just felt like a really sus movement. I'm going to try and divert your suspicions right now to somebody else. Bon's being bad. Look what he's doing kind of thing. We get it. Bon is technically trying to strengthen his position. I want to still say Ish, and normally I'm the first to rag on him. I didn't quite buy the Bon argument. I think the worst thing Bon's doing right now is withholding information from Fushi. But at the same time, he's pretty much given up on the throne, barely really strengthening his position. Maybe they have made a deal with the narrator, but last I checked, they stabbed the narrator and bleeding somewhere in their eyes i don't see them as teaming up with the narrator at any point kahaku's argument seemed a little bit flawed desire to protect the humanity bit that's the only bit of kohaku's argument that i technically back he wants to stop fushi becoming more godlike or more unhuman and he wants to save the humanity within him it's a weird way of putting it because he says that fushi is cursed similar to the way that the church of bennett fear him and say that he's cursed cursed at being able to do all these godly things and you're not like us unable to die stuff as a curse isn't that technically what the knockers want the knockers also think that the humans should just die fushi being unable to die makes him different from everybody else everybody is built perfect you die that makes you perfect everyone comes to an end fushi unable to die makes him imperfect and he's different from everybody else he sees him as a curse and bon is using him and stuff i just the way that he puts it makes me uncomfortable i am kind of on your side i, I do think it sucks to be fushi i wouldn't want to live forever it would get boring there would be a point when you become tired i don't see people as perfect i don't see what fushi is going through as making him cursed in a sense he's also created by a being in who's to say that the person who created him isn't a god or anything this is an argument which goes down to the idea of religion and all of this kind of thing it's a, it's a big one and everyone's gonna fall on different sides it's kahaku i'm just not on team kahaku kahaku makes me feel uncomfortable there's just something about kahaku i don't like let's talk about the last scene because it made my hopes rise and then of course they shattered them quite quickly the face that fushi makes seeing march's print on the wall Oh, Fushi. <laughs> Fushi. Hearing her voice in his head. That was shivers. That was literal shivers. I felt a little bit teary because he remembers her 
and I want them to meet. And then that teaser, it's the teaser that ruins the show for me. Just get rid of the teasers because boom, he's sat there with her and she's dead. And now he doesn't know that she can be brought back. He thinks she's probably dead forever or something. I, I'm heartbroken because I don't, I don't want to. He's going to get back to using her as a form. Fair enough. We were so close to having her as a, a real person. But maybe it's not the right time. Then maybe Bon is correct. I don't know, guys. This anime makes me feel things and think things and get confused quite quickly. That is the end of the breakdown. Apart from the little tease that perhaps Mesa is chosen to become king? Question mark. It looks like the king is on his way out. He's called for Mesa. He is technically related to the princess. I think they're brother and sister. So either of them could be king next. The boring old way of doing it, hand it over to the king because he's a boy. I'm team hand it to the girl because <laughs> I want a bit of difference in there. I want equality in there. It, maybe she's the older one. Who knows? It's possible that he he is going to be handed kingship would he take it probably not i don't think he's interested in being a king we will see what happens next week another fantastic episode an episode which had my mind going back and forth a lot of twists a lot of turns anime man this anime just does things and by the end of it i'm thinking and then I'll, an hour later i'll think of something else and i'll some things will click some things won't click the thing with me editing and suddenly everything clicking for this episode clicked i just want fushi to meet march by the end of this season is that too much to ask for can we just have them happily last scene Her calling him Fu-chan, him crying, bursting into tears. End of season two. Is it too much to ask for, guys? I don't know. I hope you guys are having a great weekend and I have missed you guys. I always enjoy talking to you guys, so I hope you are looking after yourselves. I will see you guys again for next week. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.